The new reading room, named in honour of Australia's second longest serving Prime Minister, the Honourable John Howard, was officially opened at UNSW Canberra. Welcome to UNSW Canberra at the Australian Defence Force Academy and to this morning's opening of the John Howard Reading Room. UNSW has been proudly educating the future leaders of the Australian Defence Force here in Canberra for half a century. The John Howard Reading Room and the collection that uh, underpins it adds another dimension to UNSW's uh, national and international research leadership. Very significant morning for the University of New South Wales accomplishment. To have a room in the university that I am very lucky to be Chancellor of, named after him, fits beautifully with my own feelings and with those of my university as a whole. To be able to add to its collection of historic documents the documents of a great Prime Minister. To have a joint venture also for us with the National Archives of Australia to receive and preserve these wonderful documents I think is a first in terms of a joint venture. We will cherish that and I want to pay great homage to the National Archives for having the forethought to be able to do it with a leading university. Our university is both humbled and very proud to have the papers of John Howard here. And I want to assure John that we will look after them, they will be studied, and I believe they will be studied in great honour of a great person. John Howard welcomed the transfer of his records to UNSW Canberra from the National Archives of Australia. The John Howard collection covers the period of his entire political career uh, from 1974 when he first entered Parliament. Um, and so they remain in the nation's collection, but are going to be housed, preserved, digitised and made available right here through the library, ensuring much, much greater access to the records, not only on site, but also electronically uh, through the online databases of the UNSW and still through the National Archives database. And I, we at the Archives are very, very pleased to be collaborating with the university. Businessman and philanthropist Mr Kerry Stokes was invited to open the John Howard Reading Room. Australian history resonates very deeply with the Howard family, especially from the man who has brought us together today, the Honourable John Winston Howard. It is fitting then that a man with such a connection to our military and political history are housed in this marvellous facility at UNSW Canberra Academy in conjunction with the National Archives. It is a natural home and given the defence and related matters bulk large during his time as Prime Minister. And as John Howard himself loves to say, in order to know where you're going, you need to know where you came from. Any archive is only as good as the access to it and it's only as good as the content it provides. This exciting new model is unique partnership will ensure the very access that will allow scholars, historians and community at large to properly examine the John Howard years. The John Howard Reading Room will enable viewing and research of items held in the UNSW Canberra Special Collections, including Mr Howard's personal papers. Second last official duty I performed uh, before uh, ending my time as Prime Minister of Australia uh, was to call at Russell Hill on the leaders of the Australian Defence Force. Angus Houston, who's been gracious enough to come today, was then the Chief of the Defence Force. And I had the opportunity of saying to him and uh, those uh, other members of the senior ranks of the Defence Force how much um, I valued the association I had formed with the men and women of the Australian Defence Force during my time as Prime Minister. And I hope we'll make a contribution to uh, an understanding of uh, my time uh, in various positions, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, uh, the victories and defeats. I do thank um, both the University and the National Archives for um, uh, the, uh, the concept and uh, the obvious care that they have put into it. And uh, I do hope that as the years go by, uh, people, whatever vantage point, whatever attitudes, whatever analysis they bring to the study of my time in politics, they will uh, be aided and enlivened by access to this material. <laughs>